Good morning. Hey guys, I just thought I'd do this uh, little uh, review of working for Sutco. If you guys are thinking of working for Sutco, what can you expect at Sutco? First, Sutco is a small company, 100 plus trucks. Um, it's a family company, super oriented, or super family oriented. Um, you're not a number there. It's a small company. You're not going to get lost. Uh, diverse group of drivers, male, female, different races doesn't doesn't matter. It's set will hire anybody. So there's lots of respect there for. Doesn't matter who you are. Um, Sutco uses e-logs, so there's always really good communication between you and dispatch. The e-log messages, uh, they use Isaac's e-logs. And then of course if you need an emergency, not, you can always call them, call dispatch as well. But they prefer you communicate with the e-log first. Um, they give you really good training. If you're a new driver, you'll get two, three weeks of training, whatever you need to get comfortable. If you're an experienced driver, you'll probably have a ride along with uh, what per, with another driver for one day, and they'll call that good if, if you're comfortable. Um, just to learn the Sutco way type of thing. If you need more, if you're an experienced driver and need more than one day, that's acceptable as well. Um, the pay rate. The pay rate's pretty good. Um, depending on your driving style and the division you go into. Um, I work for the highway division, so I know the pay rate for the highway division. I don't know what the pay rate is for uh, logging or uh, the uh, re resident residual. That's what I'm looking for. What the residual is basically. The chips, the hog. Whoa. I'm not sure what their pay rate is. Um, I know uh, the chip division, they usually make quite a bit more than me. Um, here, let's uh, pause. So, for me, if I'm fully loaded, driving in BC over the mountains, I'm getting 72 cents a mile. If, if you're qualified to cross the border. If you can only drive in Canada, the rate is lower. Um, if you're going, this is for super B loads. If you're going distance less than 700 miles, the rate is uh, 68 cents per mile. Um, empty miles, um, you'll get 52 cents a mile. You'll never end up sitting anywhere. If uh, if they send you down to southern Idaho and there's no load coming back up, they're not going to force you to sit there for two or three days waiting for a load. They will immediately turn you around and run back up somewhere further north, run up all the way to Spokane empty and get loaded there. So you're still getting 52 cents per mile running empty. Um, a loaded greater than 700 miles, getting paid 55 cents per mile. So that way, if you're running down to Quebec or whatever like that, 55 cents per mile. Uh, $70 to tarp a load. If you only load one of your two trailers, you get 35, half the rate, obviously. 
Um, if you're running a wide load or a long load, extra $30. Um, if you have more than one pickup or one more or more than one drop off, you get an extra 28 bucks for every single pickup and drop off. Uh, 20 bucks to chain up. Uh, they expect you to chain up all four axles. It's the law anyway, so you want to chain up all your drive axles. Um, if you, if you end up um, needing hourly compensation, as in uh, a chipper takes three hours to four hours five hours to load you and it's the chipper's fault or whatever you talk to dispatch and they'll pay you an hourly rate um, if you do uh, short hauls really short hauls there's an extra twenty seven dollar bonus for that and then uh, a late layover pay um, after twenty four hours you get a hundred hundred and two dollars for that so so yeah pretty good pay rate um, I on average take home between that after all deductions I take home between four thousand and five thousand dollars a month um, chip division they they always tell me that they get about six thousand dollars a month after all deductions and of course this always varies on your driving style um, so yeah uh, if you work for highway division general freight expect to uh, get home every uh, weekend so if you're uh, running chip division expect to get home every day but shift division um, you also do shift work so you got a cross shift so you uh, could start your shift on Sunday night and then depending on how long the run is and your cross shift driver that shift could slowly warp throughout the week of course there's a logging um, division which I know nothing about So you got you got options over there. So lots of work, um, run lots of hours. I guess that can be a pro or a con. I, I run anywhere from 60 to 70 hours a week. Sometimes it's not quite 60. Sometimes 55 or so, depending on how much I run in the U.S. Um, get paid stat pays stat pay. It's a federally regulated company, so you get the federal stats not necessarily the provincial stats um, you get vacation yeah I enjoy it I really enjoy it I, I came into trucking I've been working for Satco for three over oh, three years three three and a quarter years give or take and I do not regret coming to Sutko. I love it. Um, if you guys are interested in the job, talk to uh, our HR. I'll give you their phone number here. Tell them I sent you. Give me as a reference. I would super appreciate that if you guys did that. His phone number's down here. Mars, give him a call. He's our HR guy. 
Um, you can also call the set, I guess maybe this is the Setco phone number and an extension, 130. Uh, you can always email him as well. I don't know if I have his email over here. I don't have his email here, but... But yeah, give him a call, leave him a message, and yeah, give me as a reference. I, I recommend Sutko to everyone. It, the pay rate is fair. It pays it pays more than a lot of the local companies, and it also pays less than some of the companies. But it's it's really good pay rate. Um, if you want to work for Sutko, we got Sutko's got divisions, Chilliwack. So if you want to be based out of the uh, lower mainland, there's a Chilliwack base of operations uh, in the Okanagan. There's a base of operation in West Kelowna. I live in Penticton. Um, there's also a base of operation out of uh, Salmo, which is home office. Um, and there's a base of operations out of... Uh, Preston. Um, there's a base of operations somewhere in the U.S. I don't remember exactly where. So U.S. Sutko hires U.S. drivers, based at a U.S. A U.S. company. And there's also a base of operation out of uh, Quenelle for chip trucks, I believe. There might be more. Um, for highway division, if you live anywhere along. Highway number three between Creston and Vancouver. Um, it'd be absolutely perfect. Like I live in Penticton. A lot of people drive or work live in Kelowna for the highway division. Um, for the weekend, you'll get a run that you pick up a load in. Let's say at uh, near Castlegar, pick up a load there that'll head to Vancouver. You drive home for the weekend, spend the weekend at home, and then uh, drive down to Vancouver and deliver Vancouver on Monday. So it works out really nicely. So, yeah. Tell Sutko I sent you, and I'll see you guys on the road. Thanks.